Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you have only just discovered me, then my name is Lucy. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can jump on board my YouTube journey. So today I went ahead and tried out the brand new Jaclyn Hill slash Morphe Brush Boss collection. If you guys have not seen or heard anything about this collection, Jaclyn Hill is a beauty queen here over on YouTube and she has collaborated with Morphe to create a 24 custom eye and face brush collection. I was actually lucky enough to receive this collaboration from Morphe and a lot of my followers on my Instagram have been asking me whether I thought the brushes were worth the price point so I actually used them for the first time today and if you want to know what I thought of them then just keep watching in the video. On my eyes today I actually also used the Bling Boss palette in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill again so if you want to know how I created this and what I thought of the palette then please keep watching. So a few days ago I was actually lucky enough to receive the brand new brow products from Morphe. If you guys have not yet seen these, they have just brought out um, seven new brow creams, a brow setting gel and seven micro brow pencils as well as highlighting sticks to highlight the arch of your brow bone afterwards. So I'm not going to pretend like I haven't already used these because obviously you can see this brow here is already done. Basically I started filming this video and got up to just where I was about to start my eyeshadow and then realised basically I had the audio sound turned off. So none of my clips were filmed with audio which is really annoying. So obviously I took this eyebrow off and I'm going to start fresh so you guys can see how these work. So today I'm starting with the two micro brow pencils in the shades Biscotti and Latte. I did explain earlier that these are very, very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. If we do just a quick side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that these are very, very similar. If anything, the Morphe one is just slightly, slightly thinner but the nibs of both and then they both have the spoolies on the end make them really, really similar in product. I did also explain earlier that you guys wouldn't have seen because obviously the audio wasn't recording um, that these products are obviously great. However, the one main thing is that the shades are not named in like colors. So it's kind of hard to know what your shade is. And although I'm obviously lucky enough to have all of the shades of all of the products here so it's kind of easy for me to swatch and see the colours I want to use. Um, I can imagine that if you were buying them online it would be such a struggle to know what to buy because I, it has taken me swatching every single shade to know that this is the sort of shade I want to go for. Just for reference, if anyone has used the Anastasia Brow Wiz, this is the shade Biscotti and I'd say this is kind of similar to either Blonde or Taupe from the Brow Wiz, which is actually the one I use. And I'd say that the shade Latte is similar to Soft Brown, so that's kind of a bit of a reference for you guys if you wanted to buy one online. Do excuse the mess my brow looks at the moment. You guys know I'm gonna go and clean it up later. However, now I'm just gonna define the tail end of my brow using the brow cream. I'm actually gonna use the corresponding shades of those brow pencils in these brow cream shades. So this is Biscotti. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I think this might actually be a bit too light for my brows. So I'm just gonna start by running this through. And if it is too light, I'm gonna go in with the shade Latte to deepen it up. Now that we have got a big mess going on on this eyebrow, I'm just taking the clear brow gel. I have already used this because I love a good brow gel and I could not resist the temptation, but this is a really, really good brow gel. I'm just gonna show you quickly the wand because I find it really fascinating. It's so tiny and it's so, so good at getting right in those brow hairs so you can put them exactly where you want them to. With my brows, just if anyone wanted to know, I always like to brush my hairs up. I like to get right to the root of the brow hair, brush them upwards, and then I like to just soften the tops and push them back down again. That way I feel it gives me a nice full brow look. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave my brow looking this messy. You guys know I'm gonna take my baby wipe on my fingernail and just go underneath and above the brow to clean it all up. If you are returning to my channel today, then it will come as no surprise to you that I am gonna use the P. Louise base in the shade 01 Rumor to prime my eyelids today. 
eyeshadow today, I am actually going to be using the Vault Collection from Morphe in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. If you guys have not yet seen this collaboration, then you have obviously been living under a rock. Where have you been? However, if you have not yet seen this, then we have got four palettes here. We have Dark Magic, Bling Boss, Ring the Alarm, and Armed and Gorgeous. I have actually already used a few shades from Ring the Alarm and Armed and Gorgeous, so I'm going to try and avoid those ones today, and I'm actually going to try and use these two here because I have not yet used these, and I would really love to try and see how they work. To help me apply that eyeshadow, I actually also yesterday received this huge package. Um, you guys can probably see from the front cover what this is. Oh my god, this is so hard to show. Ah! So, this is the Brush Boss Collection with Jaclyn Hill. This is a brand new brush collection. Um, I genuinely was not expecting to receive this at all, so I am so, so, so pleased I have. Um, actually, I'm gonna put it down to talk it through because that's really heavy. So, in this beautiful collaboration collection, you can get the whole collection of brushes, which is 24 brushes, for $165 or you can get the five face brushes for $58 and the eight custom eye brushes for $42. So I know you guys um, are probably thinking, wow, that's a bit pricey, because I agree, I think that is quite ridiculously priced for brushes, just my opinion. Obviously, I am so lucky to receive these for free to try out, so that's what I'm gonna do today, because a lot of you have been asking if they are worth the money. So I'm gonna test these out today and let you know what I really, really think about the brushes, because to pay that much money for brushes is a bit absurd seen unless they are really 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 worth it. So the first shade I'm going to go in with on my eyes today is the shade Mystic from the Bling Boss palette and I'm just going to pick that up on the JH38 brush. I am so 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 pleased that Jacqueline decided to include this small crease brush in her collection because it is so similar to my favourite ever eyeshadow brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is the A14 brush. Obviously don't mind how dirty this one is but you can see they're very similar in shape and I love 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 using this one to pack on the colour in the crease. I've just zoomed you guys in a bit and I'm just going to start with this dark shade running it through the crease first. So first impressions of this brush, I already know this is going to be a staple brush in my collection. I really, really, really love this brush. Like I said, my Anastasia Beverly Hills A14 brush, which is similar to this, is my favourite brush to use. I'm constantly washing it off and reusing it. So we're off to a good start. So the next colour I'm going in with from this palette is actually the shade Rockstar, which is a plum purple shade. And I'm taking it on the JH40 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and show you a comparison of the JH40 brush and the Morphe M507. Obviously, I have used this one to death, so it has frayed out on the sides a little bit. But as you can see, the shape is kind of similar. They are small blending brushes with a pointed tip. However, the Jaclyn Hill brush is just slightly thinner, and I guess it's more precise to get right in that blend. I'm just picking up that colour, and I'm going to place it over the top of that dark purple shade we've put down. This brush is a really, really, really nice brush. However, I don't think I used it for the right purpose. For me, I would probably use this brush to blend out the top color, which I probably should have done. Um, but this is a really nice brush and it gives a really good precision when you really want to get right in that blend. So just for this one shade, I'm just going to move away from that Bling Boss palette as I had a vision that I want a light purple shade to blend out the tops. So I'm actually going in with the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to take the shade Soul, which is a light purple colour, and I'm just going to blend the tops of that using my Jaclyn Hill JH39 brush. So this brush is basically the same as the JH38 brush, however it is just slightly smaller. I don't know if you guys can really see the comparison, but it is just slightly smaller, so I guess it will be good for getting really into those little areas. So I've just started using this brush and it's actually too dense and too stiff to use for this purpose. So I'm just going to pick up another brush and carry on with the same action. Instead I've just replaced that brush with the JH34 brush which is just a big sort of fluffy blending brush which should be able to diffuse the tops of that blend really nicely. Oh, 
Now taking my P. Louise base in the shade 0 with my Zoeva 144 large concealer brush, I'm just going to make a semicircle shape on my eye, starting from the inner corner and taking it halfway around my eye. Now that I've cut the crease and I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm just going to work backwards across the eye. So I'm starting on the outer corner using the shade Mystic, which was the dark shade we used first. And I'm just going to take that on the JH40 brush to blend the edge of that concealer. Then I'm going to take Rockstar going in diagonally next to that. Then going in with the small JH39 brush and the Norvina palette taking the shade Soul like I did earlier and that's going to go next to Rockstar. So I'm almost finished with the eyes however I just want to add a little bit of glitter and sparkle so I'm just going to take the Armed and Gorgeous palette from the same collection and I'm going to take the shimmery shade up here named VIP and I'm going to take that on the inner half of my eye. And finally, I'm just going to take the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Cinderella Pigment, which is a beautiful silver with purple and pink reflex. I'm just going to place it on top of where I put that shimmer shade. To apply that glitter, I'm just going to take the JH41 brush, which is like a pointed concealer brush. However, it's not actually that flat. It's more of a packing brush, I would say. I know he's just not right. So this is not actually a new Morphe product, however I don't see many people talking about these and I don't know how many people actually know they exist, but this is the Voodoo Gel Eyeliner from Morphe, it is a purple shade so don't worry I'm not going to mess up the theme of the purple, um, but I really like these gel eyeliners and I don't see many people talking about them so I'm going to use this one today. So we all know how easy it is to mess up eyeliner so I probably won't be talking too much through this because I just want to concentrate, however I've zoomed you guys in so you can probably see all the steps I do. So luckily, thank God, I did not mess up my eyeliner because that would have been an absolute disaster. However, now I'm just going to go up and clean the sides of that line using the JH... 43 brush. This is just a flat top carving concealer brush. So although I haven't got any new Morphe products to try on my face, I do still have the face brushes from the Brush Boss collection to try. Oh. Got it. So this is the JH03 brush. I'm going to assume that this is just a flat top kabuki brush for foundation. So I'm just going to take the NYX Total Drop Control foundations like I used in my last video. But I'm just going to mix the shades vanilla and whatever the next shade is together so that I'm not looking like a pale ghost. Brill. I don't know if you can see that but they are literally, oh dripping. They are literally one shade apart. Look how different they are. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. I'm going to take this underneath my eyes and I'm going to blend that in using the JH08 brush. So powder, I don't even need to tell you which powder I'm using because you probably already know by now. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and I'm using that with the JH07 brush and I'm just going to pack this underneath my eyes and in all the areas I'm most likely to crease. Okay, to powder up the rest of my face I'm then taking the JH01 Big Fluffy Amazing Brush. However, this is also very similar to the Morphe E41 brush. I am seeing a running theme in these brushes that a lot of them look very similar to existing brushes. Not all from Morphe, but just brushes that I own. Um, I understand it's probably really hard nowadays to make a brush that's not similar to another brush, but especially when most of them are similar to existing Morphe brushes, it just seems a bit recycled in my opinion. For bronzer I am then taking the JH02 brush. 
Anyone who knows me would know how much I really love this M527 brush from Morphe. You can see how well loved it is. It looks disgusting, but can you see the similarity here? Again, this is what I mean. Obviously, it's hard to come up with brushes nowadays, especially like bronzer brushes that haven't already been made, but that is a very uncanny similarity. Um, I don't know, it just seems very sort of repetitive to me that she's reused the ideas of the old Morphe brushes and just created them as her own. With this brush, I'm gonna take the MUA, I don't know the name of it because it's rubbed off, but I'm assuming that says bronzed something. Um, this is a very old bronzer. I actually probably got this two or so years ago and I completely forgot about it, obviously using all my brand new products. Um, and I've recently come back to it and I've fallen back in love with it. It is the most beautiful shade of bronzer. It's not too harsh, it's very, very buildable. Um, and I really love it and I'm really sad that it's smashed. So I'm gonna have to pick up a new one, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty cheap. They're probably like three or four pounds, so. I don't mind. Now, I'm not really that big on contouring as such. I'm more of a bronzer person. However, just for the sake of using this brush, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring to deepen up the hollows of my cheeks. So this is the JH04 brush. It's just an angled sort of contour brush. It's quite thin and yeah, very, very fluffy, very, very nice. So I'm just dipping into the Morphe 8L Lo-Fi, um, highlight and contour kit and I'm just gonna drop, drop blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna dip into these bottom two shades here. Okay so for my highlighter I'm gonna dip back into the Morphe 8L Lo-Fi highlight and contour kit. Oh my god, tongue tied. Um, I'm just gonna dip between basically all of the shades but mostly Supernova and Stardust. Oh, I forgot to mention the brush, that might be helpful. Um, this is the JH30 brush. She actually has got a couple of brushes in there that you could use for highlighter. This is the smaller one between them. Um, I personally prefer to use a smaller highlighting brush because I think it gives more of a payoff and it doesn't sort of just put the product everywhere and you can really choose where you're gonna put it. Um, but for me, this is the sort of size I would use. Okay, zooming you right back in just to do the lower lash line. I'm just starting again with the shade Mystic from the Bling Boss palette like we did earlier. And then I'm going, gonna go in basically with all the same shades in the same order. The first brush I'm gonna be taking is the JH42 brush. So this is just a small um, flat brush. This is perfect for going under your eyes for the under eye shadow. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use it for now. So I just went off camera and added some lashes. These are the L'Amour Silk Lashes in the style Eleonora. So I'm just gonna finish off now with lips. I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips using a Lord & Berry nude liner. Then I'm gonna fill them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Honey and pop some Peaches & Cream, um, which one's this? Back Chat Gloss on top. So to sum up my thoughts of the Morphe in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill Brush Bosch Brush Boss collection. Um, I do really, really like these brushes and obviously I'm so lucky to have been sent them for free. However, I don't really know if they would be worth the price points. Let's just look back at the prices. So you can get the whole collection for $165. You can get the face brushes for $58 and the eye brushes for $42. Now, five face brushes for $58 I think is ridiculous especially for someone like me who doesn't really use face brushes so for instance the one I used for concealer earlier and also the foundation brushes I probably wouldn't get much use out of because I am a beauty sponge person so therefore you'd be paying really $58 for only three out of five of the brushes however $42 for the eight eye brushes I think is a little bit more reasonable because everyone needs eye brushes these brushes can be used in everyone's collection for something for some reason but that's my my opinion anyway you guys may still want to try these brushes which is absolutely fine i definitely do recommend the brushes if you are willing to pay the price point however if not i'm sure you could find dupes for the exact same brushes like i said in this video i did compare a lot of the brushes with different brushes i already had so if maybe you would like me to do a video for these giving you some dupes of the brushes i already have um, then just let me know and i can do that for you 
So guys, this is my final look. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. I think it looks beautiful, considering I never really use purples because purple, we all know, is one of those colors that is really, really difficult to blend sometimes. But I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. And I really liked the Bling Boss palette. I had heard a lot of mixed reviews about this palette. I had heard some people saying it didn't blend at all and some people saying they really loved it. And I, for one, definitely really enjoyed using it. So if that's anything to go by, then I definitely recommend it. Please also let me know down below if you do want to see a dupe video, like I just said, of those brushes in the Brush Boss collection. I would really love to do one of those if you'd like to see it. And also if you do have the brushes yourselves, please let me know how you got on with them because I'd love to know that too. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment below if you did enjoy this video and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Don't forget also to follow me over on my Instagram, it is at LSG Makeup. We are so, so, so close to 50k, which is absolutely unbelievable. So if you can follow me over on there, the quicker we get to 50k, the quicker I can announce my giveaway. Thank you as always for all your continued support and love. I really do appreciate it. But for now, I will see you in my next video. Bye.